Hello, it's Scott Manley here, back for some more experimental rocket science in the world of Kerbal Space Program. And you might be wondering who I'm going to send to the stars today. Well, the answer is nobody. My plan is to try and see how far I can get with a completely unmanned and uncontrolled rocket. Now, how we're going to do this is we will have to have a capsule on hand for the, the pilot to push the launch button. But after that, we'll basically cut the launch vehicle loose and it will fly in a completely uncontrolled fashion. So as you see, we have strapped the solid booster onto the side of the, this uh, capsule with a decoupler. And we've set the staging up so that when uh, the rocket will fire first, and then within about a second we'll be able to hit space again and we'll be able to fire. There it goes! Now we have to immediately switch to this, otherwise if it goes beyond two and a half kilometers, uh, it will magically disappear and we will lose track of it. But anyway, yeah, um, okay, so it went up about a kilometer and it's uh, spinning, arcing over, and well actually it's continuing its rotation, but yeah. That was a pretty short flight. I hope we can improve on it. Now, I think there might be a stability issue because we had the decoupler stuck on one side. So let's try and balance that out by sticking a decoupler on the other side so that the weight load will be symmetrical. There we go. And make sure they both fire at the same time. Back to the launch pad. And here we are with another you know, terrified pilot who isn't even going anywhere. He's just going to sit there as this goes. There, again, it's kind of arcing over. Um, maybe not as quickly as the other one, but I think it's definitely, unless it magically stops rotating or starts rotating the other direction. Well, we beat our height record, 2.4 kilometers, but now we are definitely heading back to the ground, back to Earth with a bang. Be kind of cool if this continued to arc over. Yeah, it's completely just spinning. Bang. Okay. So maybe we can put some aerodynamic correction on this. Um, only thing is, I think that the the launch structures might get in the way if I mess with aerodynamics. Um, what can I do here? Um, where are the fins? Where are the fins? Ah, there we go. So we want to put the the little winglets on. Uh, you know. Winglets. Yeah, let's do the winglets. Uh, we need more than one winglet, otherwise we're going to be asymmetrical. Oh, wow. This really is asymmetrical. <laughs> uh, wait, what's going on? Come on. Um, yeah, connect in there. And let's yeah, let's move these out the way. Uh, maybe get two of those. And, yep, either side. And, well, okay, that isn't on straight either. So let's try and fix that. Let's see. Okay, that looks a little bit. Now, this is not on straight. We should probably fix it. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, we need we need to fix our... need to get this. Oh, wait. Darn symmetry. Symmetry. There. Oh, you know what? I found out you can press right button to go backwards. That's a, a useful thing. <coughs> okay. Um, now, let's... Add some symmetry. Yeah, we get two wings now at last. God, this is really showing my ineptitude here with the building stage. Uh, yeah, let's uh, try and fix... Okay, yeah, let's try and get that straight. And we are... Let's try launching. Clear the pad, clear the pad. And who have we got today? Oh, there we get nice, nice clearance there. Ready, fire. And detach and let's see how we do well um, it seems that we're rotating the other way now okay um, again let's hope this doesn't come back and hit the pad that would be rather unfortunate pardon me I got something of a sore throat <coughs> Yeah, this is really going crazy here. <laughs> hey, but you know what? Unlike the other flights, it actually stayed in the air long enough to burn all its fuel. So that, in a way, is still something of a success. More experimental data is always a good thing to have. Okay. So maybe um, let's put more wings on it. 
we because we're obviously rotating in one direction and there was nothing to stop us so let's do like a three-way wing system but i think um we'll probably have to move the scaffolding as well the the problem we can't attach the launch scaffolding to the the rocket to the actual active part of the rocket because as soon as the decoupler for oh wait that's off center as well as soon as the decoupler fires the everything attached to it will not fire so you can't fire everything all at once and you kind of still have to deal with this asymmetry in the whole thing so yeah let's get let's get three uh, wings on there and see how this does okay what a what a great vehicle that looks like huh this was from the golden days of rocketry before we had computers to fly things or even pilots brave enough to do it. But I think it's appropriate that Jebediah Kerman, of course, turns up for this. Let's see how it does. It's streaking off vertically and it seems a whole lot more under control. Maybe that was just luck, but uh, boy, that is a gaining speed altitude at some rate. It's accelerating at a couple of G's, and you can see that as the mass burns off, it is accelerating faster and faster. There we go, five kilometers. Oh, wow, look at the G meter rising. Seven kilometers, 10 G's, 15 G's, over a kilometer per, wow, we hit like 1.1 kilometer per second before we burned out. And uh, yeah, you can see that the altitude is dropped, the maximum Ac maximum altitude estimate is dropping very quickly as the atmosphere slows us down. We're not even going to make space because we burned out of fuel uh, still inside the atmosphere. So I say uh, solid rocket boosters are looking good, but uh, we need to progress to liquid fuel devices.